Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am in such a good mood. It's a beautiful day out and I have good news. So I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I was complaining about the hotel I stayed at in um, Boston, Massachusetts. I stayed at a hotel. Yeah, I stayed at a little two-star hotel and I plan on bringing my dog with me. Long story short, they told me that the pet fee was going to be $25 before I arrived, which is why I decided to bring my dog with me. And then when I arrived, they told me that the pet fee was $75, which is triple the amount I plan on paying. So, me being me, I paid the fee and then I reached out to the assistant Yeah, manager. so I reached out to the assistant manager and she took days to respond. She actually didn't respond to any of my emails. I had to call her about a dozen times to get a response from, a response from her. And she was no help at all. She didn't want to give me a refund. Um, the only thing she did do was apologize for how unprofessional her staff was. Because her staff was very rude to me when I had called. Um so i tried to reach out to corporate that didn't work either you saw that in the video i tried to call them and every time i tried to connect to somebody it would just hang up the phone so anyways i reached out through booking.com which is the website i originally booked the hotel through because i booked all my hotels through booking.com i love them so when i reached out to them they were able to help me get a refund um so i got my 50 dollars back which is exactly what i wanted Thank you. I got my reimbursement after fighting very hard for it. Um, it really wasn't even about the $50. It was more about the principal. Like, you guys should, shouldn't be miss... Like, you shouldn't be telling people the wrong thing. You know? If I ask what the price of something is, the people working there should know what the price is. It shouldn't be like, oh, it costs this much. And then when I get there, it costs a totally different, you know, different amount of money. So, um, it was really just a principal. But I'm happy I got my $50 back. And um, also, I have more good news. I was practically given a car by my sister because she got herself a brand new car. She's a hard worker, so she was able to get herself a new car, which is it's a beautiful car. And she gave me one of her old cars, so I am now driving a little 2013 Honda Also, Civic. I've been fasting for almost 24 hours. It is 4.53 right now, and at 6 p.m. it'll be 24 hours since I ate something. So I'm going to try to not eat for as long as I can. I really was going to try to do a three-day fast. I don't know if that's going to happen, but if I could get, like, one or two days in, I mean, I'm, I'm already done with one day, so if I could do, like, another day of fasting, that I'll be very happy with myself. If I could get three days in, we'll see. So I'm basically just trying to fast for as long as I can. I have been drinking, um, though I had water and I had a coffee this morning, and now I'm having another iced coffee, which I know probably isn't good because of the sugar in it, but... I need to drink something, so I'll probably do, like, smoothies, or if I do eat something, I'll have, like, a soup or a light salad or something, so. This morning, I took this car to get an oil change, and, um, Walmart had such cute stuff out for the kids, like, they had such cute baby clothes out and stuff, so I got my son a few things. I'll show you guys in a video later. The cute summer stuff I got for him. But, um, I think I'm gonna take this car to the car wash now. Because it's got, this car has bird, bird poop stains literally all over it, so. Literally all over it. So I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna go through the car wash real quick with this car. And then tonight, um, I'm going to the circus with my family, so. That'll be fun, we're gonna go, um, see the flip circus. I'll take my son and my mom and my sister and her kids, so. Yeah. I'm going to try to do some food delivery. It's not going to be easy because I'm over here starving and I have to smell these people's food that I'm dropping off. It's like literally torture.
stink. Mama's gotta put a shirt on, you stink. Hello? I was looking for like shorts and stuff for him, which I found. I also got this really cute tank top that was on sale for $2.98, which I think is pretty good. I mean, this is a size 4.5, but I'm kind of putting baggy stuff on him anyway, so I thought this color was cute. I probably could have got a smaller size, but um, anyways, I got this as well. Which this is adorable. My favorite color is yellow, so this is so cute. It says Club Dinosaur. And it has like little shorts at the bottom. This is 24 months. And this costs $6.48. Looks like a whole outfit. You don't even have to think. You just throw this on with some sandals. Some sneakers. Really cute. And then I got him a couple pairs of shorts. These were only $3.98. And they're a size 24 months. And look how cute they are. They have these little lines on the side. It reminds me of Adidas. Really, really cute. Black matches everything. And then I got these shorts in gray as well. The same ones. 24 months. My son is 16 months. So by the time the summer comes around, he'll be like 18 months. I got him 24 months because I just don't want him to outgrow anything. You know, by the time the summer comes want these to last all summer so these have the little stripes on the side too but this was so cute so those shorts will match like anything and um so will the tank top so i'm gonna get a lot of use out of those this summer and yeah i forgot i bought him a lot of stuff recently so um i'll probably tone it down with the shopping a little bit but so far he has what he needs for the summer so <laughs> Actually, I take that back. He needs summer sandals and probably like water shoes for the beach and stuff. So I'll probably get those the next time I go to Walmart or Target. Um, Cause he's definitely gonna need those. All he has is sneakers right now, so. Look at these beautiful strawberries I got.
from Stop and Shop. I'm about to dig in. It looks so, so I just got home from working. I did some Uber Eats today. And I also did regular Uber driving, like taxi pickup. So um, I've been kind of being... What's the word? I've been being swayed to do regular Uber recently just because the app has been giving a lot of promotions and stuff. So, um, for Uber Eats food delivery, they really don't give a lot of promotions. So, um, I've just been doing taxi driving a lot more than I normally do just so I can make that extra money. Like, for every ride, they'll give you an extra couple dollars or an extra three fifty. Or if you do a certain amount of passenger pickups, they'll give you, like, an extra $100, extra $150. So, um, that's why I've been doing a lot of regular Uber driving. Normally, I am an Uber Eats girl. I do food delivery all around. But, um, the promotions have been working i'm over here doing regular taxi driving so today wasn't bad i picked up a lot of people i did a lot of rides so um you know i made a decent amount of money i've been saving up for vegas this coming weekend today is sunday and i leave on thursday for my trip so i'm looking forward to that um my box of sheen clothes came in the other day it's a huge box i have to do a haul and try everything on and show you guys everything i got for my trip hopefully i like what i got and um i'll be looking cute in vegas you know all dolled up all dressed up i'm not gonna pack too much just because i'm only gonna be there for a couple days but i'm gonna make sure i pack enough so i look cute and I have everything I need to get dressed up and stuff. Because this is going to be my birthday. So, um, I have a few things planned this week. Um, I'm going to be going out a couple times with um, my fiancé and um, just some friends. So, that'll be fun before my Vegas trip. I'll be going out to a couple restaurants and a couple bars and stuff. So, yeah my fast has been going okay today um i did eat i mean i really wanted to do like a three-day fast without eating but i probably did like a day and a half with no food and then um i've been eating i've been trying to eat light so today I, all i had was a caesar salad and um i broke i had some 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 five guys french fries which i know is not good because it's greasy and it's fried but that's all I had today, so, um, that, I also had a lemonade as well, so, and a coffee, so, um, I'm starving right now, but I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna go, try to go, go straight to bed, and not stay up too late, because when I stay up too late, it makes me want to eat, because I'm so hungry, you know, so, um, I think that's another thing I need to start fixing my sleep schedule because i stay up until like 1 a.m just playing on my phone which that's been kind of messing me up because then i wake up later so i need to start my day earlier i need to go to bed earlier i need to be stricter with my schedule and that'll help me with my eating as well because i won't be so tempted to eat late at night you know so yeah um tomorrow's a new day i think i'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow either tomorrow or the day after i'm gonna get my hair done um, I plan on putting crochet in my hair again. I already have the hair here. I got this really cute color. Um, so hopefully I can get that done soon. Um, definitely before my trip, so. Okay, it's been 24 hours since I ate something. Um, yesterday I got home. Well, yesterday I stopped eating around 5 p.m. And right now it's 5 p.m. the next day, so... Um, right now I'm having some Haitian food. I have some rice and chicken. I'll show you guys. This is what I have. Try to take a reasonable portion size here. Um, might look like a lot, but this isn't really a lot for me. So I'm going to eat this. And yeah. First thing I've eaten in 24 hours. So, so I've been trying to drink as much water as I can. Um... I know a lot of times when your body is thirsty, you can mistake that for hunger. So, um, I've been trying to be on top of, you know, drinking my water and stuff. I try to not drink too much juice and, like, sugary stuff. So, um, but I'll definitely keep my calories down. I've basically been doing a combination so far of fasting and eating one meal a day. 
and um I haven't been weighing myself because I don't have a scale. I need to get a scale so I can weigh myself and see, you know, how many pounds I'm losing a day because um, I think that'll help motivate me. Yesterday, last night, honestly, I was so hungry. I was, like, in such a bad mood. I was so cranky. I think also I'm about to get my period, so um, that's not helping with my mood. So it sucks being hungry and um, I don't know. It's hard fasting, to be honest, but I feel like this is the best thing for me right now. I know it seems like I'm, like, starving myself, but I think this is what I need to do just to shrink my stomach and to kind of reset my appetite a little bit. Um, so I've been kind of just, like, fasting and then just eating one meal a day, trying to make that meal healthy. If I have, if I, you know, if I fall off and I eat something bad for me, sugary, a cookie, if I eat cake, if I eat french fries, I try not to beat myself up because I know I just had that one small meal, so, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do for as long as I can up until, you know, Vegas, my trip, um, I know I'm gonna definitely be eating a lot more on my birthday because it's in a couple days and stuff, so I'll probably be going out with friends, drinking and eating and stuff, but I definitely won't be able to eat as much as I was before because I know I've gone days without eating a lot of food, so yeah, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that YouTuber, um, what's her name, The Wizard Liz, she gives a lot of motivational, like, um, rants, speeches, she does YouTube videos where she just talks about a certain topic and then she, um, you know, kind of motivates you and gives you advice and she's great. Um, I discovered her a few months ago, but recently I didn't, I didn't subscribe to her channel, but recently I went back to her page because another YouTuber had, had recommended a video that she recently posted about men and how they need women. So I was like, you know, I need to go watch that video because she gives a lot of advice to women about, um, basically about how women um, were being, we're being told every day that we're not powerful when we're very powerful people and we're spiritual people and, um, she just kind of goes into depth about how men will make you, men will try to make you feel small as a woman. So, um, I went and I watched that video and then I also saw that she posted a video a few months ago about binge eating and I was like, oh my God, I have to watch this. So I don't think that was, I don't think that was by surprise that I ended up landing on her page and seeing that video when I was like starving last night. <laughs> and she was, um, she basically made a whole video about like feeding the demon and about how every single time you feed your, the demon, every single time you binge eat, um, like you're, your your um your demon is getting bigger and stronger and it gets harder and harder to stop when you you know want to make changes and it's hard to be disciplined and stuff so that video um was pretty cool i'm gonna give some advice some tips and tricks i just talked about how like your mind is like the most powerful thing you know so before like before you go to do something, you always think, like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do before I go do it, you know? So, if you can get control over your mind and discipline your mind, you can change your whole life. So, I thought that video was pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll link it below, but if not, her name is called, her name is The Wizard Liz, and um, she talks about binge eating. I thought that was pretty cool because, honestly, I feel like that's what I have. I feel like I have binge eating, binge eating disorder, but then again, I, have the, I don't know. I'm just kind of self diagnosing myself with, um, with that disorder, because I know my eating patterns aren't, you know, aren't normal, obviously. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I will probably start recording again tomorrow or before my birthday. I'll start recording a new vlog. I'm going to end this one out here. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you would like to. It's free, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.